Hey everyone, I'm Brian. I'm Tyler. And we're Gardener in Love. Hey everyone, it's officially time for annuals. We're so excited! <laughs> We've had our pansies in the ground all winter and they've done such a great job and given us such a beautiful show, but the weather is warmed up here and I think it's finally time to do annuals. So we just got back from Creekside Nursery. We live about 40 minutes away from Jenny and Jerry and they had some gorgeous stuff this morning that we just couldn't resist bringing home. So, should we show what we got? I think it's time! It's right behind us. <laughs> okay. All right, everyone, here it is. The highly anticipated Super Tunia Jazzberry. So beautiful. It's really, really pretty in person. It's very hard to explain. It's darker than bubblegum for sure, but it's not, you can see, obviously, it's not quite the purple of Mini Vista Indigo, which is what we have here in the back. Um, but we think that the combo together will be really, really stunning. Yeah, it's almost glittery. The two together is almost like this neon glittery, like the uh, Mini Vista Indigo has sort of like, it ages to a lighter color, and so it's just gonna look so gorgeous and like have this almost glittery effect in the garden. All right, so we're out here in front of our house at our front flower bed, um, and this is where our annual border is. And so last year we planted Mini Vista Indigo and Mini Vista White in this space, and it was so beautiful. But before we plant our annuals for this year, we wanted to show you what's here now. So last fall, we planted exactly 100 pansies out front here, and they did pretty well for us over the winter. So we plant them in the fall usually and they kind of bloom and do their thing through about Christmas time and then right after Christmas they go dormant. You'll still see a few blooms here and there but they really don't do much because the temperatures get so cold and then when we hit February they start to wake up again as the temperatures start to rise um, and usually in the spring I come out here and give them just a light cheering to kind of uh, kick them up again and you'll see they are pretty full right now but now that it's starting to get hot, they're really just, they don't look awesome when you get up close. I mean, far away, it's stunning, but up close, it's really not that great. I mean, as the temperatures start to rise, they just wither throughout the day and they sort of get leggy. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out and we'll be planting the super tunias in their place and it's gonna be amazing. in every hole with the super tunias, some of this proven winners slow release plant food it's really important for heavy feeders like super tunias that they're getting consistent food um, this doesn't kick up until i think the soil temperature gets 70 degrees so this would be more of a long-term solution 
I'm also going to be coming along every week with the water soluble fertilizer. Again, just giving them consistent food and they're going to be big and beautiful before we know it. everyone we've got them all done and watered in so I did just want to share a little bit more information about how we planted these so you'll notice we planted them pretty close together which is not what the proven winners tag recommends we like to plant our super tunias very close together so they just become one giant trough of flowers and all the colors kind of intermingle but if you want to see the colors more separated and kind of stripey I guess would be uh, the term for yeah. that formation um, go by the plant tag so Jazzberry is a Vista Supertunia. It's the most vigorous Supertunia out there on the market. Indigo is a mini Vista, so it's still gonna be that vigorous grower, but it's more compact and uh, mounding habit. So if you want to see those habits and you wanna see like the, the indigo really have its mounding shape, I would plant them a little bit farther out, but we like more of the speckled look with yeah. our Supertunias. So I planted them very close together. I also should say, we are in Charlotte, North Carolina, zone 7B. It is early April. Our average last frost date is April 11th. Yep. However, we have looked at the weather <laughs> and we are in the clear from hard freezes. There might be a light frost or two, but we should be in the clear. Petunias really are more cold hardy than we give them credit for. And if it gets really bad, we'll come out here with some frost cloth and cover them. But I say all that to say, just because we are doing this does not mean you should run out to your garden center, buy all of your annuals, start planting everything up. You have a lot of time, people. I know we're eager as well. <laughs> it's exciting, but just take it slow, you know? Yeah, go, by, go by your zone. I think that that's the best case. Yep. Um, we obviously, I think, have a lot of annuals to plant yet this year. So we're super excited that, I mean, we've kicked it off and this means that it's officially the season. Um, we probably will come in here with some lantana and pop them in and we'll show you guys that but um, We've kicked it off and that's super exciting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video We hope you have enjoyed it and you're having a great week Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye